mythic prisms that you need to unlock the mythic skins are very expensive and some players are furious. Let's have a look. This is going to be uh, an interesting video. This week, Season 10 of Overwatch 2 launched and we got our first look at the Mythic Shop. This is where you unlock the Season 10 Mythic skin and all of its customizations in exchange for Mythic Prisons, a new currency that you can earn by progressing your premium battle pass. See, every 10 levels you unlock 10 prisms. So that's 80 in total, which is sufficient to unlock the base skin for 50 prisms and every level of customization for 10 each. The fun thing about this Mythic Shop is that you can also decide to get one of the older Mythic skins. Let's say that you started playing in Season 5 and you missed out on that Season 1 Cyber Demon Genji skin. You could decide to get that one instead of Mercy. That is pretty neat. Unless you also want the Mercy one, of course. Huh. I mean, with some patience and careful planning. By not unlocking those customizations that you think you'll never use anyway, you can save up some prisms. And that way you can eventually have both skins, maybe all of them, if you play long enough. I do have to note, however, that Blizzard seems to have arranged the levels of customizations according from least popular to most popular to convince you to buy all of the levels. In any case, when they announced the shop, I already had this hunch that something else was going on, that they might be selling those mythic prisms in the shop. And lo and behold, on Monday, in the developer blog, they announced just that. You can buy mythic prisms in the in-game shop, which helps to kind of fix the issue of what someone in my comments called the mythic debt. That's a good name. So when the season launches, one of the first things I did was hop into the shop and go check those prices for the Mythic Prisms. And oh boy, uh, I had already warned people in my videos on my stream that they were going to be expensive. And they are expensive, very expensive. You can get 10 Prisms for 10 bucks. You can get 50 Prisms for 40 bucks. You can get 100 Prisms for 75 bucks. So that means if you're getting one mythic skin, buying it completely, it will set you back 70 bucks. As you can imagine, Reddit and Twitter were on top of it immediately. The tar and feathers were being whipped out. I even had people coming past my stream to yell at me about it. <laughs> what did I do? Look, if you've been following me for a while, you know my opinion on the prices of the cosmetics. I think cosmetics in both Overwatch and all of the other live service games are overpriced. On the other hand, Making games is expensive. I used to work in the industry myself. I know how expensive it can be. I don't know. I don't have an insight on their business. I don't know how much money they are making right now with this model. To be honest, till recently I thought they made plenty, but then we hear these stories about them not getting their bonuses for over a year. A ton of people were fired, and yeah, that was all tied into PVE. But still, my point is that, yeah, I still think that they are overpriced. But in the end, who gives a fly about my opinion? Cosmetics are worth what people are willing to pay for it. Don't get me wrong, I don't like that idea, but it's the reality. It doesn't make any sense that a purse or shoes are triple the price of another pair that are very similar, but they just don't have the same logo on there. It's insane, but that is the reality we live in. Now let's get back to the Mythics. I'm actually okay with the Mythics being triple as expensive, at least, as the Legendary skins. I know, I know, let me explain. First off, you're getting 80 prisms with the 10 bucks you pay for the premium battle pass. You just need to work through the battle pass. But the Overwatch 2 battle pass is one of the easiest ones in the whole gaming industry. Like, it's one of the easiest ones to complain. If you are dedicated enough to the game to want one of the high-end skins, you'll most likely also be playing a lot. So that should not be an issue. And sure, maybe you want to get that older one, that scenario we discussed earlier. But you'll have to make a choice. And there are other options. Let's say that you unlock the Mercy Mythics and you keep it at that. You like the way that base skin is. You didn't need the other customizations. At that point, you're sitting on 30 prisms. Could maybe buy 20 extra and you could unlock the Genji skin. And in the later season, you can kind of plan around that and maybe get the customizations for the Genji skin. Reality just is that most people won't be buying 80 prisms from that shop. And if you do that is fine just know that at that point you're circumventing well weeks and maybe in some cases months of gameplay which again is fine but at that point it makes sense that they're going to make you pay for that back during winter wonderland they did something similar with that mini battle pass they had this bundle that had enough tokens to completely ignore that battle pass yeah, i didn't like that one because it actually kind of took the wind out of the whole event on top of that they give you a currency that you'll never be able to use again and then they had to put it into credits at the end. I don't know. I didn't like that one. And come to think of it, they do the same thing with the battle pass, with the big one. You can circumvent tiers by buying them. 
and two bucks a tier, which is very expensive. That means that you'll need 160 bucks to completely clear the battle pass. But it being so expensive is one of the main reasons that people don't do that. If they made these tier skips or those mythic prisms too cheap, it would ruin one of the most important progression systems. And it would piss off a whole group of other people. For every single player that wants everything free in game, there's another player that doesn't want anybody else to get what they paid or worked for. It is a thing. And in my opinion, it's kind of weird. We've seen it happen again this week with the Twitch drops. If you watch 9 hours of your favorite streamer, you'll unlock that Cyclops Roadhog skin from season 2. I've seen people tweet that they want compensation for the people that actually bought that skin back in season 2. What? Look, I have bought games at full price, not install them, and end up playing them when they're actually in the Steam store at that point for 10 bucks. That's on me. I'm a dumbass. I can only get angry at myself at that point, but I don't. I paid for something I wanted, I got it. That's it. I don't think my game is less valuable because someone else got it at a cheaper price. I don't think I need to be reimbursed because I had it for so long. Even if I had played it, doesn't make any sense. Look, you know what? I don't think there's a good way of doing this, running a life service game. A life service game that makes enough money for your company, but also keeps all of your community happy. There's always going to be someone that is not happy, but on your corporate side or in your community, you can't make everybody happy. That's something my grandma used to say, and I don't understand why. And you know what? Personally, I find myself caring less and less about all these cosmetics and about their prices. If I see a skin I really want, I'll get it. But overall, I don't get worked up about it anymore. And that's not because the skins are bad now. They're the best I've ever been. And that's not because I gave up or I'm trying to get on Blizzard's good side. It's for one reason only. Because the game is actually in a very good spot right now. I'm having a ton of fun playing the game. The changes they've been doing, the variation that we're getting, all these test events, the new heroes, the new features that they're adding, the rest is just becoming noise. They are finally listening to us and trying to make this game something that will make them money and give us a good time. They're trying to make the game that will last for the next few years, which you both need money and a community for. And no matter what you think about the prison prices, that mythic shop is actually a good thing. It is something that we ask for, albeit in a different way. You just need to realize that everything that we get will always come at the cost. That's just reality. That's life. When push comes to shove, you do not need these cosmetics to have a fun time in game. And if you do, well, there's plenty of free stuff coming out. You can buy a lot of stuff with the credits. We're getting these Overwatch coins in the Battle Pass now. And next week, with the Mirror Watch event, we're getting a legendary skin as a reward for that event. Which also was an issue for some people. Because they claim that this is an old skin. It's not. This skin has been in game for a while, but it was actually on an enemy NPC. And at that point, when people saw it and remembered that, they were all asking to have that skin for Orisa officially. To have it as an, a skin that they could equip. And now we have it, we're getting it for free. People are calling Blizzard lazy. As a group, we as a community are a really nasty and very annoying toddler. Look. Guys, I know that this is not the most popular opinion, and I do stick with my opinion on the pricing of all the cosmetics in the life service games. But I do think it's fair that those prisms are so much more expensive than any other cosmetic in game. You can't get everything. Just get the premium pass and have fun. And for now, that was it. A huge thank you to my patrons. I could not make these videos without you guys. You have my eternal gratitude. Check out this video that rounds up all of season 10 in under two minutes. And for now, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Bye bye.